Hello, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft 1.15 Let's Play with me, Tree Muffins. Uh, I'm just mining a lot of wood. I, I have nearly a single chest full of wood, just logs. Uh, I've got this 4x4 tree and I've got another 4x tree next to us. I this is loud. Um, so, in between episodes, I made that thing over there, and that's a bone meal creator. It just uses wheat seeds to make bone meal and that allows me to grow a lot of these trees for free anyway in this episode we're going to be create creating a new base uh, really sit close it's going to be over here and it's going to be a big spruce tree um, all handmade you may have noticed this episode came out a bit late today uh, I kind of woke up at one o'clock in, in the afternoon Whoops. Yeah, look at all this wood. Slowly getting it up. I want to get to this point and same point with the leaves, but we're going to need way more leaves than actual wood eventually. I don't think we're going to finish the tree today. We'll probably just do the trunk, maybe. I'm just coming to the very end of this tree, 4x4 one, and then we're going to mine this 4x4 one. More? Alright then. Burn you. Come on, burn. Yeah, burn away. Just at the very last uh, three blocks of the 4x4 four four tower thingy. Tower? Tree. You know what I mean. Uh, so, with these spruce logs, you can create spruce wood. Um, not people actually know about these, but yeah, they just got all sides covered by the logs and there's actually a stripped variant, so you just place four logs down, right click them all, break them again, and then put it in the same pattern, you'll get a stripped variant, all sides uh, covered. Yeah, we're going to be using them for our bays. Right then, we got all this wood, loads and loads of wood. I'm just going to try and move all the stuff I need up to that little ridge where the horses are. Uh, so then we can actually start the base of the base. <laughs> and get it, get the ball rolling. Yeah, get the ball rolling. Right then, so we just put this down and then chuck all this stuff in here. I'm just going to try and flatten this out, take this top layer out to make it like a larger area, I guess. This layer here. I'm gonna bring the bed over as well. Coming in. Ugh! Hi. Ooh. Uh, so I've got more stuff to bring over. I've got some spruce leaves and I've got my bed. Uh, I'm just gonna place it down and put my spawn point down because that's new in 1.15. Um, just chuck all this in here. I've got some iron as well just in case. I actually need to make another axe, so thank god I brought that. I'm just going to put it here. Axarino. There we go. How much dog? It's four. Get rid of that. Thank you. So, yeah. I'm going to remove this top layer here. Uh, so, then have a larger area for the tree base. Well, the tree base base. <laughs> there we go. One layer down. So, I'm thinking if I get some wood. Uh, I'm just going to place around where I think the trunk will be, like the actual size of the trunk. So it's gonna, probably going to be on the very edge of this. And then just go around in like this kind of size. Ooh, like that. That is not round. <laughs> it's hard to see when you don't have like a litre and stuff. Let's get a perspective and stuff. I need to go out a bit more this side, I think. It's like that. Maybe. I think that's it. I really do. Like the size of the trunk. Um, I was actually going to try and 
build this and creative and like I'm super flat on my own not recording just to get a gist of what how to do it but I didn't <laughs> I didn't have time so I just gonna have to wing it if it's wrong then blow it up easy let me just come down here and see what it's like down here uh yeah I I actually kind of like that and then maybe have like a trunk not a trunk a root coming down here around down the mountain thingy yeah that's a mountain I classify a step a mountain. I'm actually like four foot one in real life. Alright. And go around here. Oops. Ah. Oh. Yes. And then just making this a circular thing very pretty much. Okay. That is a good size, decent size. We're gonna have like the actual base up there, um, and like staircase going up, spiraling up the trunk. You, you understand? You're not dumb. Maybe you are. I don't know. And then just have a gist of where the, these roots are gonna go. Obviously, that needs to be thicker. It's really hard to get a perspective because you see this and it just I need like a high up point maybe maybe a ladder up or something this is better oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and that is not circular see that's a good thing about getting a high up point that looks circular from down there that's way better yeah and then have it go up 10 blocks just like that maybe go in slightly but then come out just to make it all like crisp I'm gonna call it yeah crisp we just need some roots and stuff those roots definitely need to go up higher points though and come down this could be too big I don't know just jump down here Now here's a difficult think decision. Do we have the entrance where the cliff is over here? I call this a cliff now. What am I on about? It's just a little mound. But then you have to climb up that mountain. The mountain now. Okay. Ha! <laughs> and then over here, there's the other option of having it just over here. But then we can have a nice path. I think this is the better way. Because then we can link up with that path over there. I need to sleep. The floor though, what should this be? I'm thinking maybe barrels, barrel floor. Uh, pff, I don't know how to make barrels by the way. Um, there it is. Just having this all over the floor, that looks a bit weird. What about sideways? That's not sideways, come on. Is it, do I have to do it like this? Yeah. That could actually look quite nice. Or maybe have it in like stripes yeah can this be going the other way so like uh this oh yeah that could work oh that could work yes 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 let me pick up all the floor another lot how Oh no, I hit him. Is that going to count as me, me killing him? Okay, thank god. I, I always say thank god, but I'm not even religious. Okay. Alright, that's the floor dug up. So what I was thinking in my head was having these barrels in stripes going down the floor in like three block gaps. And having the gap just be like spruce planks or site. You know? I'm just gonna make a bunch of this. Uh, uh, half to half stack. Yes! I need more planks. Would you believe it? 
that, barrels, a stack of barrels, whoa, and then have it go along like this, because then you'll get that nice beam going across the floor. I don't know if, even if, no, I don't even, I don't know, yeah, this could look awful. And then place the planks in between. That's not too bad. I actually kind of like that. This is the floor completed. It looks a bit flat, but in my opinion, you shouldn't really have a bumpy floor. Unless it's like ruins or something, but kind of moves your eyes downwards when you want the eyes on the walls and the roof. Maybe not on the roof, but you know what I mean. It work, A bumpy floor works in some situations. So let's see what we need to do with this tree. Right now it's just a big old cylinder. Is that a cylinder? I don't, I don't know my shapes anymore. I haven't been in school for a few months. Yes. Trunk going... Not a trunk. A root going down here. A root going down there. I think I should have like nine roots. Seven roots. That makes more sense. Not nine. Jeez. Huh. So have it come from here. This edge. Just run it down. Towards over there. Have it a thickness of about this. Coming down. That's torches. too fat and then like this maybe but you need to need to like make it seem as if it's going into the soil rather than just laying on top of it I think it bends too much I so badly want to harvest all that but no building that is a nice route in my opinion having multiple of these going around and Possibly having just like random patches to make it seem as if roots come like under the ground and then over, if you know what I mean. The Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> I'm just going to make some bark blocks though. And all of these edges, just replace it with a... What is this? Oops. I can't do it like that, can I? Just have it as these wood blocks. Just having a look round to see if there's any uh, logs sticking out. You know, the end of that. But I don't see any yet. Because I think I've replaced it all with this bark stuff. Alright, another route. Got to do this quick fire. Let's have a look at this. Uh, root. See, so, yeah, I think they're actually quite good. We just need one coming down here. On that side. Yeah. This is pretty difficult though. One, two, three. I think three more will do it. I need to put all the bark blocks on that though. I can, I'm going to keep calling them bark blocks because that's their old name. They used to be called spruce bark, but... Now they're just spruce wood. It's weird. Alright, all the bark blocks are on that one. And now I need to start another route over here. Uh, this one's already started, but it needs to be fatter, way fatter. Uh, and then one down here, I think. The roots should actually be the same size as the whole canopy. Well, underground that is. So this thickness would be the thickness of the trunks. What are you looking at? The fat trunks at the top. So I need to keep that in account. I want to have this root floating above this and like trying to curl down into the ground. So have it wrapped round like this. And then down into it like that. Maybe. 
Or is that too curved? I'm doing very curvy wood. That's very curved. Uh, don't have that end bit. Just curve it around like that, I think. I'm saying stuff what makes sense in my head, but not pro probably not for you. So this will just go like straight, pretty much. That's what I was imagining. Oh yeah, I was thinking, if anyone wants to make an er uh compilation of me, you can go right ahead. I don't mind. Uh, I mean like, uh, 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 um, uh, go wild. I think that actually works. Maybe a bit longer, just like two blocks. But yeah, epic. Just placing in more bark blocks for this root. Uh, I've just re I've just finished building the root. Here it is. I mean, it looks quite cool. Well, I haven't finished actually. Have I? I don't even remember. I don't think I've done the bottom. Yeah, it's hollow. I'm just gonna fill this in. Not actually do a bottom. Do it like this, and then trap myself and then do it like that. Easy. I think this is the last block of uh, block, block, bark I need to change. Uh, let me just have a little peek around. Is there some under here? No. I think that's all of it on that whole route. Let's go on my uh, perspective little thing over here again. Really, this is the wrong perspective I need to be getting. I should be getting over there, but... I mean, yeah. Looks pretty nice so far. Just gonna jump back down. Okay, so what I want, I want to add a picture into Da Vinci, right? Yeah. Yeah. And which is fully white to be invisible. Huh? You you want it fully white and invisible? No, no, I want the background to be not seen. I just want the picture of the. I want the guy, right? Uh, guy. Wait, let me so go white background. Screen share. Sure. I heard an enderman. Come here. Get angry at me. Come on. Let's have a fight. Easy. Easy clap. Alright, this is the last word we actually have. I just checked the chest and it is the very last. So we've done one, two, another route behind there, and that one's like half done, kind of. I need to put the bark blocks on it. So that's four routes. And I want to have another one on the other side. Maybe this one side. This one side, yes. Um, I also had to break these blocks open in where the barks are. The barks, the roots, and then put torches down, because I kept hearing zombies and skeletons, and it was really annoying. I have to be sure to light it up next time I... Is that another enderman? No. Next time I build another route. I heard the wandering trader. Where is he? Is he in my... Oh, there he is. I was going to see. I was going to ask if he was in my route. Oh. Okay then, bit of lag. I do actually need a bit of coral. Huh. 
let's get that. I'm going to get my emeralds. So yeah, once I've filled these uh, end logs with the bark blocks, that should be everything done I can do. Unless I chop more trees, which I don't want to do. I'll be chopping a lot of trees in between episodes and stuff. Okay. Is that all of them? Let me just have a quick look around. I think it is. Um, I really want to kill you, but there's no point. Leads! I never even thought about that. No. No. Yes! I love leads. All oh, this rubbish. Get out of here. So that's all we can do today. I'm just going to get a nice screenshot for the thumbnail, even though I can't really get one. <laughs> I'm going to have to build up, I think. You're going to see these mad skills. I'm going to build up and then land on that ladder down there. It's going to be epic. Alright. That looks awful from this angle. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Ready for this? I'm too scared. I'm going to build up higher and then get in that water. I'm definitely going to have a, like, uh, I'm definitely going to have a play around in creative to try and build a tree. Because that does not look good. The more I look at it, the more I don't like it. I think the roots are maybe too thin. Right, that's all planted again. Just going to dump all this wheat in here. Don't need it. And then put all the seeds in here for composting. Lovely jubbly. I'm not going to chop a tree, but I'm going to make a 4x4 one quick. Just in case people don't remember or haven't seen the parts when I've made the 4x4 trees. So, what you got to do is you have 16 saplings. You've got to make a 4x4, like 16 in total, 4x4. Four four. I really can't speak today. I don't know why. And then you've got to bone mill these very corners until... You get the 4x4 four four tree. Ta-da! And they usually give about 4 stacks of wood. Sorry if this video is a bit rushed, but that's the end of the episode. See you. Bye-bye.